everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is Dilo and I've got another video for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about Legend of the White Dragon, the Kickstarter by Bat in the Sun. It did not meet its funding goals. I wanted to get into some of that, but also the response that we've gotten from the filmmakers, from the stars of the project. Many of the Power Rangers that are involved in that as well have been talking about new opportunities that have arisen because of this Kickstarter. So let's go ahead and talk about that. I want to switch the screens here in just a second so we can talk about the news. But this was a huge thing that I was really, really excited for because many of the original actors that we've grown to know and love, like um, Jason David Frank, who played the original Green Ranger, and then a Red Ranger, and then a Black Ranger and a White Ranger, so many different, he's played a lot of different Rangers in a lot of different series, and he's recurred in many as the same actor, same character. Um, along with Jason Fount, the Red Ranger from Time Force, Johnny Young Bosch, the second Black Ranger, and also Ciara Hanna, the Mega Force Yellow Ranger. Uh, Jenna Ray Frank, the daughter of Jason David Frank, and many others. Um, lots of people were involved with this, and it's put on by Aaron Schwenk of Bat in the Sun. You've probably seen him if you've gone to a San Diego Comic Con. Um, big name. He does a lot of the superpower beatdowns. So this was really, really cool. They made, they put a lot of great effort into the into the production. It was beautiful. It looks fantastic. Super cool. Obviously, they can't say Power Rangers because it's not it's not Saban. It's not Hasbro official. But it is the heart, the stories, the spirit, the characters of the Power Rangers. And it's got the integrity of the original Power Rangers with Netflix-level quality fight sequences and production value. So that, that right there is everything anyone who grew up on Power Rangers could ever want. Now, the Kickstarter, I'm going to show you. I'm going to flip the screen right now so we can take a look. This is the screen right now. Um, the, the funding was unsuccessful, as you can see right here on the right. The project's funding goal was not reached on Sunday, August 11th, 2019 at 9.15 a.m. Um, now, this was a real bummer for me because I really wanted this made. So many people wanted this made, but the difficulty was that not a lot of people were hearing about this project. Um, it had $203,977 out of its $500,000 goal. If it hit that, they were going to not only make this film, but but build bigger sets, uh, keep the sets up. They were going to turn this into an ongoing project. So a lot of these guys who were Power Rangers who now, for the most part, make their living going to Comic Cons and uh, and celebrating the fact that they were Power Rangers back in the day, this this would be another way for them to stay engaged with the fans, to keep that that spirit, those characters alive and allow us, the fans, to continue to geek out and enjoy content where we see these guys go on adventures, um, keeping keeping true to those life lessons that they taught us as children, and uh, and also get Netflix-quality fight sequences and that sort of thing. So, this is a huge bummer. The trailer is beautiful. I'm not going to play that for you guys, though. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys that there was a lot of people that wanted this made, including myself, obviously. If you follow, you already know. But... Um, if you were to pledge one dollar or more, you would get a, a white dragon phone background. Um, if you were to pledge twenty-five bucks or more, you could get the HD download of the film plus the download of the music score. Um, same with the fifty dollars or more digital poster, digital version of the script, HD download, download of the music score. Look, there's one hundred and sixty-six backers here. I don't know if you see that. You can see how many people did this. So for one dollar or more, there was two hundred and twelve. For twenty-five, there was almost twelve and a half. It was 1,200, over 1,200 people pledged for that. 166 people pledged 50 bucks or more. Uh, 75 bucks or more, there was 222 backers. 263 people pledged over 100 bucks. 92 people pledged 150 bucks. 200 people pledged 157 bucks. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, two, over, over 157 people pledged $200 or more to get their, their name in the credits in a special thanks. If you donate 500 or more, then they also include the special thanks in the credits and a signed 24 by 36 poster by JDF and the cast. That's 500 bucks or more for a pledge and 26 people did it. Check this out, this is where it gets insane. Um, 10 people donated over a thousand bucks to get invited to the premiere and all of the other content that's, that's promised for pledging if they meet the goal. And then six backers pledged over 2500 bucks or more to get the signed white dragon helmet by jason david frank that's insanely cool and then pledge 5000 bucks or more and uh one backer did that to get 5000 bucks 
donated, and then you could train with Jason David Frank for 30 minute sessions and a week at Jason David Frank's karate school. That's and plus the personal video message from the cast, the helmet, the premiere, and everything else that goes with that. And then it grows again. The reason I'm going over all this is to show you guys how many people wanted this thing made and how badly some people wanted it made. This is insane. Three backers donated 10,000 or pledged 10,000 bucks or more. Now, when I say donated, how Kickstarter works in this fashion is it's all or nothing, which means if you don't meet the goal, everyone's credit cards are not charged. So I pledged, I think I pledged 75 bucks. Um, I was going to get the $75 reward. If I did that, then uh, if the video was made, like if the if the pledge is all added up to over 500,000 bucks in the time frame, then we all would have had our cards charged for the amounts that we pledged, and we would have gotten those rewards down the road once the film is made. But because they didn't hit the goal, our cards are not charged. Um, and for me, that's a bummer because I want the, I wanted this thing to hit the goal, have them charge my card, I'd get the rewards, get the movie made, dreams come true. But three backers pledge ten thousand bucks or more. That's big. I mean, look at all the all the stuff they get. Set visit with photo and cast, blah blah blah. All this all this junk right here, they get all of that. That's pretty awesome. And the funding period is now over. It failed. It didn't make the gold. This is a bummer. But what's really, really cool is this. We just want to say thank you and we look forward to creating something amazing together. They're, they don't look like they're done, but more than that. I want to show you guys. Um, I want to show you guys something else that was really, really cool. On this page, this is what I got in an email. Okay, so it sends us here. So this is just the the page where you can make your comments and stuff. Everyone's saying, you know, sorry you didn't meet the goal. Hopefully the movie gets made. Gutter, this uh, didn't reach its goal. It feels like it's definitely something that should have uh, been made. Can't wait to see other projects come. Uh, or what other projects come from you guys in the future. This one didn't make it, but please don't give up. And people say, heroes get remembered, but legends never die, meaning legend of the white dragon. And then also, um, you know, please keep fans updated when the project is up and running. I will totally back it. Please have it up longer than a month. I agree because they, I already told them, I, I actually messaged Aaron Schwenk from Bat in the Sun and Jason David Frank. I said, you do this again, you have my pledge. I guarantee it. I will, I will back this. I replied to the email, I sent him a comment, did all that. I will continue to back these projects from Bat in the Sun. If they do this again or if they put another one up that's going to stay for like a year, four months, six months, two months, I don't care what it is. If they said it was only up for a week, I'd pledge again because they're not charging the card unless it gets met. I'm not spending 75 bucks and 75 bucks and 75 bucks. I never got charged. So I'll pledge until this movie finally hits that goal. You know what I mean? So... And yeah, this is my response here. Thank you for getting this passion project started. I hope you do this again. You will have my pledge. I 100% support this project both now and in the future. I want this project uh, more than I want any other superhero movie at this point. Thank you, Bat in the Sun. Keep pursuing this. That, and I stand by my statement. That is exactly how I feel. Now, more to the story than just how I feel, we're gonna take a look at Bat in the Sun's Instagram. So we look here. This is, Aaron, obviously it's Aaron Schwenk. They've been promoting this for so long, but now that it's past the date and they did not get the funding, this is what the Bat in the Sun has to say. Legend of the White Dragon was a passion project we wanted to deliver to the fans and still may do so in the future. We learned a lot from this campaign and what to do and what not to do. We also learned that with every great effort, there is a reward. Sometimes the reward is a lesson learned that inspires success or for a chance to make something even better. None of this would have been possible without the support you gave us. Thank you so much for supporting us and pushing us to even greater things. He's mentioning greater things here. That's important. We're going to circle back to that. This doesn't mean the end of Legend, White, Legend of the White Dragon, which is this project. Um, as you can see on the image, it shows Johnny Young Bosch. Um, uh, I don't know the name of the person, the second one, but I believe he played Coda um, in... Um, uh, which one was it? I, I'm forgetting now. It was... Uh, not beast morphers. Uh, it was the. Uh, it was another animal-based one. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head. I'll circle back and figure that one out for you guys. But one of the other Power Rangers that was in there, he played Coda the Blue Ranger. I just can't remember the name of the series. You guys know what I'm talking about. Jason David Frank, the Green Ranger, White Ranger, Red Ranger, Black Ranger, Dino Thunder, and then Jason Jason Fount, Red uh, Red Ranger from Time Force, 
uh, Pink Ranger. I don't know which series she's from. And then, uh, unless that's J Jenna Ray Frank. And then also Ciara Hanna. So those guys are all there, and they're saying this is not the end of Legend of the White Dragon. There's more opportunities that are being opened up. They want to do it better, bigger. They've learned from these opportunities. And then let's continue. It says there is a possibility for us to revisit Legend of the White Dragon in an amazing way in the future. We look forward to sharing our new journey with you. Let me go back here. With you again. Uh, again, your support has meant so much to us. And remember, we keep none of the money raised. It was very important to us that if we did not hit our goal, the money was returned to the people who contributed, making sure the fans were not ripped off and handled with respect um, was most important to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are all so blessed. Jason David Frank, Johnny Young Bosch, Ciara Hanna, Jason Fount, Aaron Schwenk, hashtag bat in the sun, hashtag legend of the white dragon so this is super important guys what i think is probably happening is that a studio somewhere other than bat in the sun has probably said you know what we see the outpouring of of love that you're getting for this project we really hope that this is happening maybe even it could be official say band power rangers or hasbro has said you know what obviously there's a lot of fans that want this Perhaps this could go somewhere. Maybe we can do this as like a legacy type thing, alternate universe type thing, um, or even same universe type thing. This could be really, really cool. But they're saying here, we look forward to sharing our new journey with you, which means it's not the end. They already said that it's not the end. Watch right here. This does not mean the end of Legend of the White Dragon. There is a possibility for us to revisit in an amazing way in the future. We look forward to sharing our new journey with you. This right here, this exact paragraph says to me, that they know they see something that obviously we don't out here that is alternate to Kickstarter. They're not going to do another Kickstarter very likely. What it's probably going to be is that they have received, you know, some word from someone out there that wants to help make this project happen in a slightly different way. It could be Netflix. It could be, for all we know, it could be Disney. For all we know, it could be Warner Bros. It could be Sony. It could be DC Comics. It could be, you know, like we don't know who it could be. Um, it could even be Saban. It could be Hasbro. Um, it could be any of these companies that's decided to open the door for them to pitch this idea once again. It looks like this is not done because they're saying it's not done. They're telling us definitively it's not done. There's There are open doors. Doors are opening and they have avenues to explore and that this will be pursued. They're not going to let this dream die. And to me, that means everything. That means the world to me because this is this is what I want. This is I want more of Jason David Frank. I want more of Jason Fount. I want to see eventually some Wild Force actors come in here. I want to see some of the guys from Lightspeed Rescue and Turbo. I want to see all of these different things start to come up where they're not done just because their old series have finished and we have to wait for the next major collaboration. Maybe we can get legacy series like these. And this could be very, very good. Now, um, and the reason why I keep saying Netflix is because they actually got the, um, the, the fight and stunt coordinator from the Netflix Marvel series like Daredevil, Punisher, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, Defenders. They got the guy who was re responsible for coordinating all of those on this project he signed on to this project to help these guys which by the way every single person on the cast and most of the people in the crew have fight coordinating experience this was going to be a masterpiece of fight fight cinematography would have been so cool um but so many people were on board with this project now this is not the end here i don't just want to uh show this one but let's go to the next screen okay so in the next one, we have Jason David Frank, and he posted this. It says, don't be focused on the closed door. R realize there is more in store. It's a timeline you can't prevent. Look around, step through another door. If it's meant to be, it's called a detour. Jason David Frank. And so he reads this. When one door closes, we have to step back and see that there are more doors that will lead us back to our path. Although we did not make a Kickstar our Kickstarter campaign, this has opened so many doors for more for many more exciting projects we cannot wait to show you in the near future we want to thank all of you who donated to this campaign we were floored by all of your support your donations were never taken from you as the kickstarter was not made 
This detour is only temporary. And the passion that we have for this film will continue to flourish. And then he tags Johnny Young Bosch, Jason David, I'm sorry, uh, Jason Fount, and C.R. Hanna. This is coming from the main star of this project, Jason David Frank, the original Green Ranger, the original White Ranger. This, uh, I think it was like the third, technically the third Red Ranger or something. But, um, but he's been many Rangers and the Black Dino Thunder Ranger. But, um, He's saying this. He's saying it's not done. He's telling us more about what Bat in the Sun has alluded to, saying that doors have opened because of this. Because even though this project, the Kickstarter, failed and they didn't take any of the funding and the project still is waiting around to get some funding, doors have opened. He's letting us know that somewhere along the lines, talks are happening somewhere. Things are opening up. And this is good, good news. So now let's go to the next one. The next one is Johnny Ong Bosch, the second Black Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And he says, when one door closes, another door opens. And he shows the total, the final total, $202,452 were pledged out of $500,000 with 2,532 backers and three hours to go. He's saying this was pulled from the last like couple hours, the last three hours of the project. They knew it wasn't going to finish. It, they knew it wasn't going to it wasn't going to happen. But he says this. In a few hours, our Kickstarter campaign for Legend of the White Dragon will come to an end. This is right before it finished. We gave it our best shot and learned a lot. Even though Kickstarter recommended 30 days it, for the Kickstarter, it was not enough time to get the word out. When we posted a week out from our deadline, we saw a large spike in people saying it was the first time they heard of it, making it evidently clear how much social media throttles posts to our own followers. Thankfully, so many more opportunities arose out of this than we could have ever imagined. Opportunities that will allow us to create projects with great freedom. I can't wait to tell you about them. It was our hope to launch this film first, but we will instead begin work on those other opportunities. We will possibly revisit Legend of the White Dragon in the future. If you keep it alive, we will return in a big way and then he continues to say um also just a reminder the great thing about kickstarter since we did not reach our goal is all the funds will stay with our supporters we receive none of it thank you so much for your support i am so grateful to be surrounded by people like you when one door closes another door opens legend of the white dragon and then it says edit i also Personally, want to thank Jason David Frank, Jason Fount, Ciara Hanna, Bat in the Sun, Aaron Schwenk for being there every step of the way in this process, and to Yoshi Sidarso and Christiane uh, for coming on board to help complete our team. Much love and respect to you all. Uh, Yoshi Sidarso was the guy that plays Coda. Again, I can't remember the name of the the actual series that he was in. Um, and also Christiane, if I'm not mistaken, was a Pink Ranger. Um, also, I don't remember which series she's from. But uh, they, they are other rangers. And so the team was growing. It was growing a lot. And um, you see here in this, in this thing, you know, it looks to be that their posts were being throttled. Their, it, the word was not getting out to their followers, which is a huge bummer. Um, but at the same time, uh, they say this. Thankfully, so many more opportunities arose out of this than we ever could have imagined. Opportunities that will allow us to create project to create projects with great freedom i can't wait to tell you about them it was our hope to launch this film first but we will instead begin work on those other opportunities we will possibly revisit lotw uh, d in the future and then if you keep it alive we will return in a big way so this right here is very 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 important if you want this type of stuff to happen i think that what this means is that another studio, possibly even Saban Hasbro Power Rangers official, is talking with them about getting these projects off the ground or a series involving legacies. So Rangers that were, that can have their stories continue in a very vibrant and cool way. Maybe even Boom Studios is talking about launching this into a comic like they did in reverse with the... Um, uh, like Lord Draken and the uh, Shattered Grid series. So that would be really cool. Um, although I do really want this to be a movie and or series ongoing. Gosh, it'd be so cool. So 
that that is the last post I wanted to show you guys. But if you guys were still confused about who this is, it's Jason David Frank. You guys know him as the Green Ranger. Also, Johnny Young Bosch, the Black Ranger from Mighty Morphin. Jason Fount, the Red Ranger from Time Force. Ciara Hanna, Meg, I think she was the Mega Force. Um, Red, uh, sorry, Yellow Ranger. And also Jenna Ray Frank, who was uh, is the daughter of Jason David Frank. Um, also, Aaron Schwenk from Bat in the Sun. And then this is the Bat in the Sun YouTube page. You should check them out. They do all the uh, superpower beatdowns. The White Ranger versus Scorpion is legit. Green Ranger versus Ryu is legit. Actually, basically everything they do is super, super, super legit. Boa Fett versus Star Lord. I mean, they put they put the costume, uh, the action, the sets, uh, makeup acting everything is super 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 good go check it out support these guys and let them know message them and let them know that you don't want legend of the white dragon to fizzle out you want that project made if you're a power rangers fan and last but not least other power rangers will be joining this project as well they said so in a post i i can't find it now but um i reached out to jack guzman in a message on my instagram and uh, I, I let him know, hey, you know, I've been rewatching Wild Force on uh, Netflix. I'm, I was always a fan of your of your Ranger, you know, Danny um, Delgado, and I'm you know super excited. I, I I've been supporting Legend of the White Dragon, which now is no longer uh, funded. It's not you know the Kickstarter didn't go through, but they're not done. I told him I was like, hey, if this takes off, would you be willing to be part of that? You know, because I would love to see Danny Delgado again, the Black Ranger, because you were one of my favorites in Wild Force. And even though he didn't respond, he liked what I said. And then he went and liked a bunch of my posts about Legend of the White Dragon and other stuff too. So that was really fun. That was really cool. Got me super excited. I felt like I was all the way up, you know, like a big shot, whatever. This guy, you know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of this guy. And I want to see him in more stuff. Just like I want to see so many of the other Rangers I grew up on um, in other projects. So if you feel the same way that I do, message Bat in the Sun. Message Jason David Frank. Message... Johnny Young Bosch, Ciara Hanna, um, message Jason Fount, other Power Rangers that you know of, other Power Rangers that were your favorite growing up, maybe Austin St. John, maybe, you know, maybe message, like whoever, whoever it is that you want to see again, I would say message them and tell them you would love to see them in, you know, in Bat in the Sun's Legend of the White Dragon in the future, that, those types of things. That way we can keep the buzz alive. Let these guys know that you want to see this stuff because I sure as heck do. So just because the funding is unsuccessful, doors have been open. We've heard from almost every single one of the cast that that is a fact, that doors have opened and they're exploring other avenues to make this type of content possible. So I'm super excited. Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also make sure to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon next to the subscribe button. And let me know what your thoughts are on this video down below in the comments and please share it with another Power Rangers fan that you know, you maybe grew up with watching that, your brother, your sister, cousin, friend, whoever it is. Let them know that this thing happened, that it's happening, and that we can make it happen in the future for real. I would love to see that happen. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys rock. You're the best. Stay awesome. And I will see you guys next time right here on The Stuff of Legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video, or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.